Hello everyone. For those who are new, my name is David Lee. I make videos on innovative teaching and learning approaches in education. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification icon if you are interested in these types of videos. In February, when I was taking a look at my schedule for the next day, I saw that it was pretty diverse in terms of activities I was scheduled for. So I decided to document my day and give you a glimpse of what I do. So let's go. All right, the first thing I did was wake up and get myself and my son ready for school. My wife then called a taxi to take us to school. Uh, we don't own a car here in Singapore because it's quite expensive being a car owner. After arriving at school and dropping off my son's stuff in my wife's classroom, we headed over to the cafeteria to get some breakfast. Next, I headed over to my office to drop off my stuff and eat my breakfast. For this specific week, I was scheduled for bus duty, so I headed over to the entrance of the elementary school where our students arrived. At 8 a.m., my team and I head over to the high school to meet with the leadership team to discuss the future of coaching in the school, specifically the inclusion of PLC coaches, which PLC stands for Professional Learning Community. We discussed how our team might fit and how might we help improve learning within this new context. At 8.50 a.m., I met with Courtney to discuss some specifics about our fifth grade science unit. It's a unit that includes a performance task, that is within the context of algal bloom and also integrates the engineering process. We talked about how we would use a slide deck to introduce the engineering portion of the unit uh, to the fifth grade team and also the plans for the erosion testing stations we would need to set up. After the meeting, I headed back to the office to finish planning the engineering lesson and also planning out what I will need to create a testing station which I tried out the following week. At 10.05 a.m., I worked with a fifth grade student on his video project, a video about kindness, one of our school's core values. I've been working with him for a couple of weeks now. Prior to our meetup that day, um, he developed a storyboard and used the storyboard to guide us in capturing video footage of his male and female actors. For this day, he finalized his post-production editing on a MacBook. Uh, with iMovie. We uploaded it onto Google Drive and then it was ready to be shared with the school. Around the same time, uh, a team of fifth grade boys came into the loft, our learning space where students can prototype their creations. They wanted to work on their drone project. Since last month, they have been putting the drone together, soldering wires and planning out how their drone was going to deliver packages. Due to some hiccups, uh, mostly because I didn't really prepare them for this, uh, we had to develop team norms in the previous week, as well as plan out steps to complete the project. Improving focus was the number one priority during our sessions this week. Next, I had lessons with two fourth grade classes. The lesson was part of a series of lessons where students got to create an electric circuit that lights up an LED. Students learned how to strip wires, connect wires, and create a complete circuit. After completing their seesaw post on how the circuit transfers energy and converts energy into another form, they got to add a motor to their circuit to create a parallel circuit. The ultimate goal was for students to apply what they learned with me into the art classroom uh, for their steampunk project. After my lessons, I headed over to my administrator's office for a quick chat. Susan Shaw is the 4th and 5th grade deputy principal. She has been one of my biggest advocates um, at SAS and I really appreciate the support I've received from her since day one. The meeting was regarding the work we've been doing this year around STEM education. I shared with her that I was currently taking a design thinking course on storytelling and wanted to see how I can apply what I was learning to help communicate our work and our future work to the rest of the faculty. After the meeting, I had a quick lunch and at 1.50 p.m. I headed over to the loft for my third electric circuit lesson of the day. By then, it was the end of the day and so I headed back to the entrance of the elementary school for bus duty. After that, I had an after school club, so I raced back to the loft. My wife and I partnered up to do this activity called Robotics and Engineering. So students learned how to use a microcomputer to program LEDs, 
motors, servo motors, sensors, and uh, variable resistors. The goal of the six-week club was to have students engineer a prototype that incorporates these components and program them to help solve a problem or meet a need or improve an experience. At 4.15, we ended our after-school club, um, cleaned up, and then got a taxi back home. At 5.15, we get home to start our favorite part of the day, hanging out with our kids. Hope you enjoyed this video and learn a bit of what I do at my school. Um, I had a lot of fun sharing my day in the life uh, with you all. Please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to be notified of when my videos drop. So until next time, stay perpetually in beta, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.